Howdy folks, uh, starting our third unit here on the idea of synthesis and reasoning. Um, basically, how do we pull things together, ideas from different places and different authors, in order to kind of create and prove some new idea. Um, so in this unit, what we're really, really practicing is a couple of things. Uh, a couple of things that I think really help uh, students and, and, and adults um, become more critical thinkers. So really, when we're reading things and putting them together, number one, we have to be really keen in what we're observing. So what specifically is this author saying? How are they making their point? And what is their main point? What can I glean from this? But also, I want us to be skeptical. Um, we shouldn't take everything we read as fact as the only way to look at it. Um, so as we're reading and synthesizing different pieces, we should be questioning, like, what's the, what's the truth or what's the extent to which I can take these ideas and run with them? And then lastly, kind of counter to being skeptical is being connective. Not only should we look at something and criticize it, we should look at it and see what does this connect to um, outside of this document as an individual piece of work. So um, to help us with that, we're going to work on these unit three skills, these skills of synthesis. So number one, we ourselves are going to work on building logical relationships between um, thesis and claims and evidence and reasoning. Um, we're going to work on synthesizing other people's ideas into our own. Um, and in that, we're going to make sure we're going to introduce these things correctly, cite people's works correctly, and then also provide our own commentary. Um, we're going to work on avoiding logical fallacies, um, which are things that can detract from our own reasoning, things we want to avoid <clears throat> in our own writing. And then lastly, we're going to identify and analyze uh, lines and patterns of reasoning um, in our own writing and in the writings of others. So let's start with this idea of synthesis. So what it really means is it's taking two things or more and combining them into something new. So think about a research project where you're going to be looking at this source and this source and this source and this source, and you put all those sources together to make a, a point um, that is different from all the other ones, but it takes pieces and parts of these to reestablish something new. Um, and this is really, really important because number one, um, it adds some appeal, th those rhetorical appeals to your writing, um, both ethos and logos. So by adding other people's, synthesizing other people's writing into your own, you're building your credibility because now it's not only you saying this thing, um, it's all these other authors that you're pulling information from, as well as a logical appeal, right? Because if I can say this author says this, and this author says this, and this author says this, and if we put those three together, here's the new thing we're coming up with, right? This is a logical line of reasoning. Um, and we also use synthesis to help enhance and illustrate our own claims. So similar to building, building credibility and logic, um, we're creating something new using other people's ideas, right? And that's the catch here with synthesis, is if I'm truly synthesizing, um, taking things and putting them together to make something new, I can't just say, oh, I agree with that person and that's it. I need to do something to add to this conversation, um, add to the dialogue, um, either in looking more deeply at a specific point or coming up with a, a totally other thought that might deepen um, the, the, I guess, analysis of this idea, whatever it is we're being is being talked about. Um, so take this as an example. So if I read an article that explained how yoga is good exercise, and then I read another article that says, well, exercise is good for you. I could put those two together to conclude, okay, if exercise is good for you and yoga is exercise, then by this algebraic equation, yoga is good for you. Take these two separate ideas and combine them into something new. Obviously, this is a pretty simplistic answer, but that's what we're going for for synthesis. Um, so in order to enhance and illustrate our claims, um, we are, again, pulling in other people's credibility to add to our own, um, to make something new. And I've got this quote here from Sir Isaac Newton. He says, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And that's what we're trying to do with synthesizing things and, and creating research papers and pulling information from a lot of different sources. Um, we are building 
kind of societal understanding by combining what has been created and then advancing, by combining what has been created and advancing. Um, and that's a tall order to ask for high school students, right? To say, you can't just agree or disagree with these people's ideas. You have to take these ideas and do something new with them. But I really like this idea of synthesis because um, at the beginning of the semester, I talked about this idea of how rhetoric gives you a voice. And this is how you have this voice, is that you can read and take in information, understand what has been said about a topic, and then create your own um, essay or argument or speech in response to contribute to this discussion. Um, and again, some of these discussions have been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, and it's important that you understand what's come before you and create something new. Um, so one of the ways that we're gonna start off with this idea of synthesis is really just to understand how do pieces, um, different pieces of text fit together. And we're gonna do that by placing them in dialogue with each other. So you kind of have to get in the mind of the two authors. Read one piece, try to understand their mindset. Read another piece, understand their mindset, and then think, what would these two people have to say to each other? What are going to be the points of agreement? What are going to be the points of contention? What are they going to be the points that neither one has thought about yet? Um, and so this will be our beginning of synthesis. So the takeaways, um, remember, synthesis is the combination of things to create something new. Uh, synthesis and dialogue help direct further future arguments, right? So it's not just taking what has been said, it's taking what has been said and seeing where do we go from here. And then lastly, synthesizing information helps add credibility and logic to our own writing. All right. Good luck, folks.